So before you watch this video, be sure to watch, 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 Becoming One in 5D from 6818. That's a prerequisite before you watch this video. Now, Becoming One in 5D, I will have told you that there are a lot of aspects of you. But right now, I'm going to talk to Star long-term healing will have infinite options. Star seeds will have a lot less. But you know what? This is for both star seeds and long-term healing. Because you've heard me say that not to judge. And you've heard me say go to a better aspect of the people that are around you. This is what I'm talking about. Is because you also, you have the opportunity to to um, look at life through any of your aspects of yourself, but you also can look at what other uh, the aspects of the other person, place, or thing that you want to. Okay, so with star seeds, there's a bunch. They're so close to infinite that you wouldn't understand the difference. And long-term humans, there literally are infinite aspects. So when you use judgment in moving along, deciding which aspect of you you're going to look through and which aspect of them, aspect of the other person that you're going to see, number one, they have to match vibrationally. And number two, <clears throat> it changes everything on how you experience this life. Now, you've got a lot of things that you've been embedded since you were a little tiny to make judgments on people, places, and things. And it is this that you have to get rid of in order to get to the happiest aspect of you interacting with the happiest aspects of others. All of the aspects exist, and you get to choose which one that you are experiencing from this percept. Uh, perspective of this skin skin suit which is why I tell you guys that don't judge anybody because somebody who is an a, a, a being an entity that came down with infinite aspects of on one end is what you can consider, you tilt it forward a little thank you one one at one end you would consider good and the other you would consider bad that aspect of someone else this other entity this other being that's not you, has all of these possibilities, all of these aspects, not possibilities, all these possibilities to experience. And this long-term human, on the bad side, could be a reptile. But on the good side, they could be the best of the best. And as they raise their vibration to get to 5D, they can stop, they can collapse this reptile, collapse, 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 into the best of the best. And if you are judging the reptile, you will vibrate in this place, and you will keep yourself from going to 5D, where the best of the best is. That is why judgment is absolutely imperative that you do not have it. Because you may be interacting with this long-term human, say somewhere around mid-range, where they're kind of a combination of good and bad. Maybe they're not as loving as you think they should be. Maybe they're not as compassionate as you think they should be. But I guarantee you, if you're experiencing that perspective along this option of infinite, aspects of that person, if you're experiencing them not being as loving or as, as compassionate as you think they should be, the only way you would experience that is if you match them vibrationally. So this is this other in this section. Well, this is you. And you could not experience the other in this good slash bad 
vibrational section of the aspects that are available unless you are vibrating like them. So if you want to experience the best of the best of every aspect of every being, then you have to vibrate at the best of your best. Does that make sense? So you can you can judge, you can assess, you can see where you are on this by the way people are acting around you. If they are acting at their very best, in your opinion, if you look out at the people around you, no matter what, the world, uh, your neighbor, the checkout clerk at the grocery store, and you see them smiling, if you see them helping one another, if you see all of that, then you are vibrating at the best of the best and you're going to interact with this end of the spectrum. And as these things collapse into 5D, everyone is going to take all of those fractals and they're going to collapse it down over to the best of the best. Best of the best. And the best of the best ends up being collapsing into the now about mid-range of the fifth dimension. So you can see it is to your advantage to assess how others are acting around you, not because of the others, but because it tells you where you're vibrating and how you're doing at getting to your best of the best. So when things start collapsing in, you'll be focused on the right thing It'll be easy for you to go into 5D and raise your vibration in 5D. Okay? So now you can see why everyone has the potential of becoming good guys. If they're raising to 5D and anyone can choose to change over to that best of the best in the process. I don't care how bad it looks like they are right now they can choose to change what they focus on. Or rather, you can change where you're vibrating so you won't even see what aspects start to collapse down upon, upon themselves to get to the best of the best. But it doesn't matter how bad it looks like they are in this process. If they've chosen to collapse everything into the now, collapse everything over to the higher vibrations, they will collapse, they will self-collapse all of the aspects of themselves that are over on the, what you would consider negative or lower vibrations in this creationary process. Okay? There you go. There's the next step. Let's see how you guys do with that. Huge hugs to everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.